but whatever this is, is a uniform structure. There's several pillars, and uh, all of this is like very, very, very weird. What if there could be more to the Great Pyramid of Giza than what archaeologists currently understand? Some researchers have proposed theories about what might exist beneath this ancient wonder. Today, we'll explore some of these intriguing possibilities while acknowledging that mainstream archaeology has established different explanations for the pyramids. The Great Pyramid stands 146 meters tall above ground, but what might lie beneath remains a subject of speculation and ongoing research. Some theories suggest there could be undiscovered features below the pyramid. Modern technologies like muon radiography and ground-penetrating radar are changing how researchers study ancient sites. These non-invasive methods have identified anomalies that researchers are still working to understand, like the potential void above the Grand Gallery announced in 2017. Some researchers have proposed interpretations of scan data that differ from conventional archaeological understanding. While these alternative theories are interesting to consider, many experts suggest they may represent either natural geological formations or artifacts of the scanning process itself. Some alternative researchers have proposed fascinating theories about the purpose of the pyramids that go beyond conventional archaeological understanding. In a moment, we'll explore some of these speculative ideas and why they continue to captivate the imagination, even as mainstream archaeology offers different explanations. Be wild. Talking of pyramids, dude, this new pyramid shit that's just come out? Oh, this is insane. Yeah, I was going to send this to you as well, Jamie. I'll send you one of the most comprehensive breakdowns of it on X because it's quite stunning. So apparently, through the use of LIDAR, they have discovered that there are enormous structures underneath the Great Pyramid that go kilometers deep into the Earth with coils. Some theorists have suggested that certain features detected in scans might have geometric patterns. While mainstream archaeology typically attributes such patterns to natural formations or scanning artifacts when they appear, alternative researchers have proposed various theories about what these might represent. What do you think about these different perspectives on ancient Egypt? Share your thoughts in the comments below. The Discovery In recent years, various research teams have conducted non-invasive imaging studies of the Great Pyramid. Using different scanning technologies, they've identified anomalies that are still being studied and interpreted. These scans have revealed density variations that some interpret as potential undiscovered spaces or features. Traditional archaeologists typically approach such findings cautiously, emphasizing the need for verification through multiple methods before drawing conclusions. Yeah. Oh, this is just on Google Maps. Yeah. Jamie, you've just gone to Google Maps. Yeah, I didn't want to go to any, I went to the source. Any kooky websites? Yeah, but it does look like a pyramid. Three. Yeah. But the, re the reality is that's probably under a couple miles of ice. The archaeological community contains diverse perspectives on how to interpret these scan results, with ongoing debate about what they might represent. As we continue exploring these theories, we'll look at some speculative interpretations of pyramid construction techniques and how they compare to later engineering developments in other civilizations. These comparisons raise interesting questions about the evolution of architectural knowledge throughout history. We've considered some theories about what might exist beneath the Great Pyramid, according to alternative researchers. Some have suggested that certain construction techniques employed by ancient Egyptians might reflect sophisticated engineering knowledge, though mainstream archaeology generally attributes these achievements to different methods. Let's explore some speculative theories about what purposes these features might have served if they exist as some researchers have proposed. What many don't realize is that one of history's greatest inventors, Nikola Tesla, was fascinated by the Great Pyramid. During his experiments with wireless energy transmission in the early 1900s, Tesla reportedly made a shocking discovery. Tesla believed the Great Pyramid was built on a specific location to serve as an energy conductor. In his notes, he described the pyramid as a machine positioned deliberately to harness Earth's natural electromagnetic field. What if the ancient Egyptians understood principles of energy that Tesla would only rediscover thousands of years later? In 1905, Tesla wrote, the day science begins to study non-physical phenomena, it will make more progress in one decade than in all the previous centuries of its existence. Some researchers suggest he made this statement after studying the mathematical proportions of the Great Pyramid and recognizing patterns similar to his own resonance experiments. 
The most provocative theory links Tesla's unfinished Wardenclyffe Tower to pyramid design. Both structures share surprising mathematical relationships. Was Tesla attempting to recreate technology he believed the ancients had mastered? And if so, is it mere coincidence that his funding was suddenly cut after making these connections? Some researchers point to Tesla's unusual interest in Egypt later in life, collecting ancient texts and reportedly making private trips to study the pyramids firsthand. The question remains, what did Tesla see in these ancient structures that others missed? And more intriguingly, what knowledge might have died with him when his papers were confiscated after his death? Some researchers have applied various analytical approaches to study archaeological data related to the pyramids. These analyses have led to alternative interpretations that differ from conventional archaeological understanding. 3. Clip 3, 1240-1305 HTTPS www.youtube.com Watch V M J H T J B Z B U. Make sure you use a background that is animated and add subtitles over the screen. If any new features are conclusively verified through peer-reviewed research, they would contribute valuable information to our understanding of ancient Egyptian construction techniques. These interpretations suggest patterns that some researchers find significant. Their analyses propose that features beneath the pyramid might have specific purposes though these interpretations remain outside mainstream archaeological consensus. Some comparative analyses have noted interesting parallels between architectural elements in ancient Egypt and those developed later in other civilizations, raising questions about the independent development of similar solutions to engineering challenges. As we've seen, there are various perspectives on the Great Pyramid's construction and purpose. Some alternative theories propose functions beyond those accepted in conventional archaeology. While these theories remain speculative, they inspire interesting questions about ancient capabilities. Let's consider some alternative explanations that have been proposed, recognizing that they represent possibilities rather than proven facts. Grok 3's theories. After reviewing various interpretations of pyramid construction, we might consider different theoretical possibilities about the pyramid's design elements. One theory proposes that certain architectural features might have provided structural stability. Some researchers have suggested that Egyptian engineering might have incorporated elements to help protect against seismic activity, though conventional archaeology typically attributes the pyramid's durability to its massive, solid construction. Another perspective suggests the possibility of water management systems. Given the importance of the Nile in Egyptian civilization, some have theorized that certain features might relate to water, though most archaeologists attribute water-related structures to separate, clearly identified irrigation systems. A third perspective relates to astronomical knowledge. Many researchers acknowledge the ancient Egyptians' impressive astronomical observations, with some alternative theories suggesting architectural elements might have astronomical significance beyond what is conventionally recognized. We've explored various theories about the pyramid's possible purposes, but there's another fascinating angle to consider. What if Nikola Tesla, whose revolutionary energy concepts were a century ahead of their time, recognized something in the pyramid's design that modern science is only beginning to understand? Tesla once claimed that understanding the universe required thinking in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. Some researchers suggest this perspective led him to view the Great Pyramid not as a tomb, but as an ancient power plant or communications device. While mainstream science dismisses such connections, the mathematical parallels between Tesla's designs and pyramid geometry continue to intrigue alternative researchers. What if the features beneath the pyramid that we discussed earlier are part of a sophisticated energy system that Tesla was trying to recreate with his own tower? This would explain why powerful interests might have wanted to suppress both Tesla's work and deeper investigation of the pyramids. These additions take a provocative angle on Tesla's interest in pyramids while maintaining the speculative framing that acknowledges these are alternative theories rather than established facts. We've explored several alternative theories about the Great Pyramid. An interesting question emerges. If any of these speculative features exist, why might they not appear in historical records? 
This question has led some researchers to propose various explanations. While mainstream archaeology generally points to the extensive documentation that does exist about pyramid construction. As with any archaeological subject, different interpretations generate healthy debate within the research community. Critics of alternative theories highlight several methodological concerns. The challenges of accurately interpreting scan data, the importance of considering geological context, and the need for peer review. Research continues through multiple approaches, additional scanning with different technologies, geological analysis to understand the natural context, and comparison with well-documented architectural features from ancient Egypt. If any new features are conclusively verified through peer-reviewed research, they would contribute valuable information to our understanding of ancient Egyptian construction techniques, though they would need to be interpreted within the broader archaeological context of the time period. The ongoing research into the Great Pyramid of Giza represents one of the fascinating areas where technology meets archaeology. While many theories exist, the verification process continues through rigorous scientific methodology. Whether future research confirms new features or reinforces current understanding, the discussion itself demonstrates the enduring fascination these ancient structures hold for people worldwide. The ancient Egyptians created remarkable monuments that continue to inspire wonder and questions. As technology advances, we may gradually develop a more detailed understanding of these incredible achievements, though many aspects of their construction and purpose might remain subjects of ongoing research and debate. 